Good morning, traders. Can you hear me and see my screen? If you can, just uh, if you could type in the uh, advanced webinar, hashtag advanced dash webinar um, uh, chat group there. That uh, yes, you can hear me. Just type yes. Okay. Oh, thank you, Dario. Okay, so um, looks like everything's good here. We're projecting correctly, and you guys can hear me. Okay, so uh, welcome back to the advanced webinar. Uh, and uh, today we have J Trader, Stocks Trader. We'll be live trading. This is part of the Bookmap Education. We've been offering it all for free in here. Uh, in Discord for the last uh, couple of weeks during the holidays, and we kind of have to make a decision on what we're going to do here. Uh, we're going to continue to do this, uh, or are we going to go back to our, um, uh, uh, you know, making it uh, only for our Global Plus subscribers? Uh, the reason being that we that we do that is um, uh, we, uh, you know, want to filter out like any, any kind of like um, uh, questions here that uh, that people have. Uh, on like oh hey what are what are those big dots you know or what's what's that colored uh, heat map um, so these are advanced webinars uh, we've gotten some com uh, comments already uh, on some of the uh, YouTube recordings about these advanced webinars uh, so the um, uh, you know saying like well this this is you know too much or it's like uh, uh, is there something more basic you can point me to uh, and uh, that's not the goal of these webinars. Uh, these these webinars are for your continuing education for order flow uh, and um, uh, and trading. Uh, so uh, that's this is kind of the cutting edge here. Uh, so that is for our subscribers uh, that uh, are very very uh, involved in depth uh, with Bookmap uh, and uh, how to use the product at a, at a higher level. Uh, so. Uh, uh, the educational that, uh, courses that you get with Bookmap when you subscribe uh, is you get the um, education course that's online. It's four parts. Uh, if you haven't watched it, um, I highly recommend that you do so first uh, and then come to these webinars. Uh, parts one and two at least uh, to begin with. Uh, uh, even the free one, there's a part one is free, so watch that one and then come to these webinars. That will still provide a, a nice foundation. Uh, so you understand book map and it'll answer a lot of questions up front uh, and then uh, yeah we'll go through all of that course content in these live webinars that's the idea here so you can apply what you've learned from that in the live market uh, it is forward-looking education um, not hindsight uh, one, one youtuber said uh, it's foresight and that's that's exactly what we want to do we how you know yeah, science site can work well for some education uh, to go over the point, but we got to see it in the live market. Uh, we got to be able to apply it, uh, what we've learned in the live market, or the, otherwise, what's the point? Uh, so that's the kind of education we offer uh, here with these advanced webinars. Uh, and uh, uh, there were some questions about this. I'm going to, you know, kind of go over it in, uh, in, in some detail here. Um, let me share my screen. It doesn't look like I'm sharing my screen, right? So hold on. Or am I? Can you guys see my screen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am. I am. Okay. Yeah, it's working. Okay. Uh, so I'm sorry about that. Let me let me go back here uh, to the advanced webinar room. Um, and um, the uh, uh, let's see, where did I leave off here on the um, yeah the, these advanced webinars? So you, you know um, uh, we're we're you know, going going through that uh, course content in this live market, so so you can apply what you learned. The um, what was it? There was a comment, a few comments uh, from the U, um, in the YouTube chats there uh, about more how to use it, and uh, we're you know it's helping. Your feedback is helping. Uh, we'll go over more like order flow at specific levels. Uh, you know, looking at and understanding the order flow at these specific levels. Uh, it might be volume profile that you're looking at. It might be just uh, patterns uh, like you know sideways consolidation, a breakout pattern, a breakdown pattern. It could be a head and shoulders pattern, a flag, whatever it is. Those kind of patterns, like we said many times over, you know, we don't care about uh, the name of the pattern, etc. It's just kind of nice 
reference. What matters is the order flow within it. That is the key here. And that will make your trading much, much higher probability. Uh, because if you can start to understand the order flow within those patterns, uh, you're, you're going to understand if it has a higher probability of working out or not. Much higher. Uh, and you look for, and that's where we'll go through these scenarios in those patterns uh, of what a high probability scenario looks like. So I think one of the comments was it was uh, Ariana um, uh, about like uh, this, these are not foresight. They're not like forward looking. Uh, it's at the moment. Uh, well, you know, the, 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 how else are we going to know uh, if, if it's not, um, uh, I mean, we have to read the order flow. We have to have that edge. Uh, and we don't know if that pattern is going to work out or not. Uh, so, you know, you can take a blind shot at it, but it, th that's where you can get the edge of like, okay, take a blind shot at it, it may or may not work out. You got to, you know, it's kind of 50-50. Uh, but if you have the um, uh, kind of confirmation in the order flow, I think it's more like 75-25 or, or better uh, that uh, it's going to work out. Now, you know, we never know. Uh, it's... Uh, uh, is tra trading is risky. There's always risk. You got to take that risk. Risk is a big part of this industry, uh, and it, it has to be taken. Uh, so uh, anyway, um, long long-winded approach here um, uh, to to get into uh, the um, uh, what we're talking about with J Trader. Uh, live live trading is a part of this education uh, and these webinars. I just want to show you where these webinar recordings are. Uh, so that uh, you guys can uh, look them up if you like. Okay, and review them. They're all recorded. Uh, so go to bookmap.com slash YouTube uh, and then scroll down here. You'll see the Pro Trader webinars, selected webinars, features and components, order flow education, and then they're here. Recordings of a live streaming here. Uh, and uh, yeah, um, you know, go through these. You can always, uh, you know, review them and, and uh, you know, two and a half or one and a half to two times the speed uh, to go through them rather quickly. Uh, so uh, that's where the, you'll find the recordings of these. Uh, anyway, let's jump in here and start to go through uh, JTrader. Uh, he will come in soon in probably about five minutes or so, uh, and uh, we'll pass it over to him. Uh, but there's a few things I want to. We, want to go through first. It's nice. It kind of gives us a, a little bit of um, uh, uh, time to kind of go over the markets in general. Uh, and then uh, JTrader will jump in here and uh, we'll, we'll turn it over to him. Um, let's go through some disclosures as well and get set up for uh, Joseph. Um, you have his contact information here. I'll put it into the chat uh, and if you want to reach out to him. So you have the links here. You don't have to copy it down. Uh, and then we got to go through the disclosure. So this is important. Please listen because um, we... Um, uh, are very serious about these disclosures. Uh, know what you're getting involved uh, with here. These are for um, educational purposes only. Okay, It's in demo uh, mode, for example. Uh, so uh, anyway, let's read through it. Uh, all bookmap limited materials, information, and presentations are for educational purposes only and should not be considered specific investment advice nor recommendations. Live trading is in simulation demo paper trading mode and strictly for educational purposes. Live trading executed in simulation cannot accurately represent realistic trading performance. Risk disclosure, trading futures, equities, and digital currencies involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Um, an investor could potentially lose all or more than the initial investment. Risk capital is money that can be lost without jeopardizing one's financial security nor lifestyle. Only risk capital should be used for trading and only those with sufficient risk capital should consider trading. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. All right, so uh, went through a bunch of different stuff in here. Uh, tomorrow we have Scott Pulsini, futures trader. Um, I want to just, uh, good morning, Joseph. Joseph is already in here, so we're going to pass it right over to Joseph. But I do want to go over a few things in here, um, uh, just on the higher time frame. Okay, not just uh, looking at book map here, although we do see some nice stuff in here coming down into levels of liquidity here, and we see the, the move back out in this S&P. Uh, I want to go over the higher time frame. So this is so important to understand uh, however you're trading, like it does, it, whatever trading method it is, if you're volume profile trader, you know, uh, or you're like a pattern trader, well, here's your trend line. It broke, but then it's coming down into these wicks here. 
and we we drew this up um, several days ago uh, and uh, we know that there are buyers down in this area here so today we have a, a green candle here we have a big wick and a green candle okay so that's not a surprise uh, we would uh, anticipate there to be some buying or some covering on this higher time frame that's why we drew up the box uh, so let's take a look at the hour chart uh, and uh, yeah you know you know this is these are um, uh, the uh, regular trading hours here uh, and uh, we can see that uh, uh, the uh, the hour chart uh, just coming back up to uh, what is it uh, this is yesterday here so um, I believe right yeah so anyway let, let's see if um, we can uh, get back up into uh, uh, this level up here uh, 4610 uh, and then uh, maybe a little bit higher uh, and uh, uh, you know try to get back up into these ranges back up here uh, on the daily uh, right now in the 15 minute not really seeing too much uh, I see sellers just coming in again here so uh, you know we need to get we need to see the the buying uh, come back in and breach the top here uh, above 4600 uh, and then we get that move maybe to 4610 and then even fill the gap up here on this one hour chart uh, around uh, 4650 so that's 50 points away I uh, don't know if we'll get there today but we need to see buyers back up in these areas up here uh, so uh, uh, let's take a quick look at bookmap uh, and uh, I have this uh, sweeps indicator on let's turn that off for a moment and uh, yeah you know we just see a big cluster of buying and selling up here so don't really see an edge yet on the higher time frame uh, in bookmap it's nice to see the buyers come in uh, but uh, we'd have to look for more buying not selling uh, in this area and you can see they're really bashing up each other here uh, uh, back and forth here this 930 cash open uh, right now uh, all right so enough said um, let's turn it over uh, to Joseph um, and uh, let's see a, a question here um, not you're not seeing anything yeah you're not going to see anything in the um, chat room here this is only for the chat you need to click on the advanced webinar voice channel uh, and then click on the streaming um, uh, you know uh, uh, icon or like you know the streaming channel in there uh, you should see it uh, and then once you've clicked on that and you're looking at it uh, go down to the bottom right hand side and you click on the button to pop it out and then you can put that on a different window or, or a different monitor uh, and then you can then click on the hashtag advanced dash webinar uh, and then um, add your chat comments in here and questions etc um, all right, so sorry, uh, Joseph, taking the time away from you here. Uh, you're in a little early today, so you kind of caught me off guard. Um, uh, let's uh, let's take it away, Joseph. Morning, Bruce. Can you hear me, buddy? Yes. Okay, so let me connect over here to my uh, screen sharing. All right, you uh, just give me a, a check over here, a confirmation that you can see this uh, fine. Yeah, hold on. And let me get it recorded as well. I'm going to, I'm, guys, uh, this is, you know, this is a popular webinar. If You can only have 50 people in here. Uh, I'm going to also rebroadcast uh, Joseph's screen here. Okay, so hold on a minute here. There you go. And let me see here. Hold on. I need to broadcast my screen now. Okay, can you guys see my screen correctly as well? So if you if you can't join Joseph's live stream there, uh, join mine. It's going to be the same information. All right. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead, Joseph. Sorry. Take it away. Okay. So, good morning, traders. First of all, uh, I'm Joseph. Um, I trade uh, small caps, big caps, uh, futures, options, and also cryptocurrency. So, we're here today with Bruce. We uh, are looking at uh, BBIG, 
Uh, I'm going to explain two seconds why I'm looking at this stock. So when there is liquidity and volatility, those are the best uh, stocks where to, I would say, uh, make profit. This is uh, an overextended play. If we look over here at uh, PBIG, we have uh, first push. So this was day one. And then over here, we have a, a day two. And then we have a day three. And then we have a day four. So every single day, you can see that the stock is opening above the previous day close. Over here is opening above. Over here, we are just slightly below, but we dip into the J lines. Over here, we uh, open above. And this morning, we open definitely below because this was the uh, close of the previous day and we open it over here. Now, on a 15 minute chart, you can see over here the first uh, exponential moving average, which is a 7289 exponential moving average, right? And then over here, traders, we see the 200 exponential moving average, right? So you can see the trend is completely uh, uptrend. I'm not looking to short this day, this day, this day, this day. So a lot of traders these days were calling this short. Now, as I said, unfortunately, I don't hear any more of those traders. And hopefully they didn't blow up. But that's really the point of starting shorting too early in the market. So marry really the trend. Start to look for the uh, trades where you can take a very good long, very good long. Uh, and then over here in the J lines. And also over here we had uh, another, where was, yes, this over here was another very good long. This morning, finally, we cracked the J lines. And I called in the room this trade over here at exactly 534, uh, the chart that you shared, uh, that I shared over there. For a few reasons that I'm not, I'm going to, that now I'm going to explain. First of all, this is the first consider red day in terms of opening and the gap down. Okay, so this is the open. Uh, this was the the close, so we are opening gap down. And I'm going to move in right now to a um, bookmap chart and a one minute chart. Okay, so by statistics, right? So when I'm saying statistic based on uh, a uh, hundred of data over here. When we have an error extended play, I'm looking always to get into a level where I have this uh, uh, pink band over here. And then I see confirmation of the timing. So that I know that is the zone to short. And I'm looking for a timing over here. So I'm not looking really for uh, adding to my short. I'm not looking actually to. I would say um, a skilling in, okay? I think that that it really damages you. I'm looking for the pinpoint entry. Uh, full size, loading the boat, and then looking too short. So when I'm looking for these trades, I know that my risk has to be limited, okay? So I'm not really looking for a 20, 30, 40, 50 cent stop loss. Then I'm looking for a five, in a 15 uh, stop loss for a five dollar stock in this case i was risking that 540 and my answer is over here is 533 and 534. now why i enter there so we explain about the zone but also we need to explain why i uh, said bookmap was useful okay for which reason over here was useful so if you're looking at this stock you can see two main things each dip was bought in and was bought in each time with a fake with a breakdown okay so the first open over here with the breakdown and then dip was bought and right away uh climbed back up so this is called fake breakdown or bear trap and again i was not looking to short over here because it's not in my pink area and then we have the second breakdown over here and when I see that, again, we're holding, making even higher lows. Over here, you see this dip. This means exhaustion of the sellers. And then over here, they're bought back up. So we don't have any more sellers over here that they're printing. But instead, we have over here reversal. So we bounce back up. At a certain point, we see that we break, we break, we break. And then over here, we start breaking this high at 530. Exactly 530 is in my area where I want to short. And when I see the top, that's exactly where I short it, over here. So not a bad fail, 
for then taking this trade all the way down. But was I 100%, okay? Uh, was 100% sure of the stock to work? No, that's the reason why I was using this as uh, protection. I have my range. I saw sellers over here. And I saw multiple sellers joining at 5.30. You can see that after we joined the short, and again, this was called in, uh, in the room live, uh, we saw a big heat map over here stepping in. So sellers stepping in. And then we start forming lower high, lower lows until this crack at 516, which was this level over here, this micro support, and boom, fail now to 497. I'm holding two thirds of my position, and I'm low, I'm holding for a possible big unwind today. So I don't really have, um, I would say, the need to cover early. Even because right now we are below the main point of control, which is around 510. And you can have the same point of control over here, also over here in bookmap. Okay. Uh, if you look over here at the heat maps, we have a huge amount of sellers at 530, 528, 525. So this is like stacking for me a wall of sellers up here. We have support at 490, 485, 480, 474. Even if I see the support, I'm not scared. So it's not that, oh, I see the support, I'm going to get out because, no. we are, Remember, we have four days in a row that this is uptrending. So surely we'll see some support over here, okay, uh, of the buyers especially. But you can see even here that we sold it, we sold it, we sold it. So once you take your first profit, then hold your trade. Now, this is a stock that I'm focusing today. So we'll do like some uh, adding over here if we have the possibility and this is on paper. And also I will look to see if I can manage and have some entries or re-entries on my other uh, live accounts. Now, uh, if you look at this stock, what it uh, has is a ton of volume every single day. So even if this is a small float, so below 1 billion float, or sorry, below 1 billion market cap, and it's a small float, it still traded a huge amount of volume. I mean, yesterday, this traded more than 250 million volume, okay? 250 million volume, that's a ton of volume. And when you have uh, this kind of volume, there's not only one big player. There are a ton of big players over here. Okay, so even over here, we saw some big players selling in this area. Doesn't mean that we cannot have a big player over here that now will push this back up. All right, so remember this high volume. Uh, we are in a small float, a uh, small market cap. It's not a billion dollar company. And we have uh, this kind of, uh, this kind of uh, uh, price action. You know that we can have like big players both ways. Okay, traders. Also, if you have any question over here, write in the advanced webinar uh, room. So let's continue to follow price action. Right now, I'm not putting any more to stop at 534 like you had uh, at the start. I'm looking to trail more if we break the VWAP. So if I start seeing, for example, this kind of uh, uh, push over here, I'm going to trail another one third. And then the rest one third over here above 520. So I'm giving it time to work. That's very important when you want to trade a stock for the bigger picture and looking for the first unwind day. Okay, so this is on the hourly. You can see on the hourly that the long started exactly over here. Each day higher volume. This was the first cup that we had for uh, buy, 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 buy. Look over here. And over here, we have a first pullback over here. Still not a confirmed backside. Okay, so we need to wait a little bit. Uh, guys, are, are you able to see? Am I um, projecting uh, uh, J Trader's uh, screen here? It should it should be working. I, there was a question here. Dario, 
And then, uh, Joseph, maybe uh, there's a, a a question here also for for you that, or a comment. Um, maybe uh, try the. Um, you see the chat room. Okay. All right. Let me let me let me try let me try again here. Um, so, uh, if you could, uh, Joseph, maybe uh, you're streaming at um, 15 frames per second. Can you go down to five, maybe? Or is that? I just don't have it, buddy. Okay, that's as that's as low as you can go. Okay. Yeah. If you want, I can try the resolution 720. But I still have a, a minimum uh, frame rate at 15. I see. I see. Okay. Uh, that looks like it might be a little bit better. I don't know. Uh, let's uh, see if um, anyone can uh, uh, get some feedback here. And let me try to <laughs> um, rebroadcast this. It doesn't look like I'm doing it correctly. So sorry about that. So traders, uh, another stock that we have today that I I didn't trade, but I want to show you how the price action works on this. So this is Bev, okay? This Bev is a it's a, it's a small uh, float stock. It has SSR on. All right. So SSR over here uh, was triggered two ninety three. So basically, you cannot shorten the bid. Uh, they prevent the sec wants to do this always to prevent like you know big panic selling. And over here this morning we have the news. Okay, so it went up into the 530 and then 520 over here though. So you can see that pop the gate, rejected, and then fill all the way down. Now I was looking at SPEV and I said clearly to members to not take this short because uh shorting SSR with high volume and this morning we had a high volume over here. You can see already traded 40 million can be a really big uh, headache, can give you a very big headache. But I want to show you what happened for more advanced traders that are able to take this. That once we had the open, so look at this level 510, right? Pop, 510, then fail. Remember, always put attention at the half and whole dollar numbers. This is a $5 level. So it went up, it came down on the same one minute bar. And over here, we see that once it failed the $5 level, look at huge amount of resistance we have above. So that is a big seller that wants to push down the price. And from that moment, we start seeing like a sell off. So look for those big levels in your chart. Okay, so it's very important to have a cushion like that. And right now it's fading, so I don't see any kind of reason why I should long this or, or uh, anything. Still didn't trade that. Uh, BVOS is still holding. It's a small cap and also small float. We have a new row, which is simply faded on a day two. I'm looking also at uh, big caps like Pitten, but it's uh, inside previous day range uh what i mean by previous day range uh this day over here is still inside this range so i'm not really looking to trade this consolidation right this is a trading range i want to see some trend over here no trend for me no trade this is what means to have a straight uh precise uh sorry a precise um trading strategy over here we are in a wedge also inside the previous day trading range uh, no direction, no trade for me on BABA, which BABA on the daily is very uh, bearish. We have also PayPal. So each day that over here, uh, let's put hourly so you can understand better the, the main trend. Each day that, uh, uh, each day I'm looking at PayPal over here. And PayPal is a bear stock, like Python, which lost something like 75%, uh, maybe even 80% of its value in about one year. Uh, Baba, uh, we have also uh, PayPal fading. 
and uh, I'm looking only to short these pops. Okay, so when I'm looking at this intraday, I'm looking to short this with a Z in line rejection. We spoke in a previous sessions. And for now, you can see that we're still inside this pre market reading range, no trade. Apple is fading some, but we need to see this break on 169. So until a yes and Q1 gave us a clear direction, I'm not looking to trade this. Uh, Tesla, first breakdown. We have still this support, 1016. NVIDIA fading over here. Okay, let's go back on BBIG. So we continue to hold over here. And if we're going to have some other setup, we're going to grab a little bit more. So for now, it's fading 492. So you can see that all these levels of liquidity called heat maps. It's not the point for me to cover anything over here. So this is not like, you know, oh, I have a heat map. I must cover my trade uh, because otherwise we'll bounce. No. They're like getting eaten over here. So I'm simply holding this. Okay. We had this breakdown. Hold this. And often what traders do is to cut their profits too soon because you have a heat map below. Okay. Half a million over here traded at uh, 492, half a million. So you can see how liquid is this stock. More selling pressure. Uh, and I filter over here my minimum size at uh, 10,000 shares. So what you see on book map over here, traders are only the blocks passing, okay? You can see 45,000, uh, 100,000. So I'm only seeing the blocks over here passing. Small bounce over here, but still lower high, lower low. So DWAC is one big mover lately. Uh, look at look at the hourly chart. So this is DWAC. Uh, I'm not long on this, okay? So I'm not swinging, okay? I'm just saying what happened and what my strategy gives me so it's not oh it's 2020 no it's really like my strategy what it tells me so this level over here is along by the system that we had this is the main guide so right now i'm looking for a pullback into this guide over here to trade this long and i will see if i have the same setup I had over here okay so i'm looking for that area over here, see, over here sorry we see the uh, the main zone we're too long and we see we had all these dips over here so nice juicy cup breakout uh small handle over here so we have a cup plus a handle this is really like a a perfect pattern uh technical analysis and now i'm looking for the pullback into that uh, hourly J lines. Nice a lot this morning. Nice a lot over here. Lower highs, lower lows. So this is down trending over here, not looking to buy.
So Tesla to the main support. Let's start to open Tesla because we're going out of that trading range. If you have any questions over here in the price section, just tell me. What I'm looking is a fill of the support on uh, uh, Tesla and then trading a JLN rejection. Okay. So basically, what you see over here is what I'm looking to short. And I will need a, then a pullback into this area for a short. Okay. So this is just to give you an idea. You can see it for the, fa for the past, let's say, three days. All right. We had a, just a, a trading range over here on Tesla. Was basically not moving. Was doing this. So below the support, we can start looking for a short. But this is only for intraday trading. Because if you look on the daily, we're still holding over here the James to the upside. That is quite a move there. Yep. Yep, buddy. And look at the and back and forth, Tesla. too. Yeah. I mean, just amazing, amazing swings as well uh, on that daily chart. Yes. Uh, I made just this weekend a webinar on the, on the swing, on our webinar. And these are the levels of our swings. Wow. Beautiful. Yeah, all those dips. Same on Nvidia, same on uh, BTC, same on uh, BTC's Bitcoin, same on Apple. Uh, so these are the stocks that I'm looking to uh, to buy and, and swing or even to buy and invest. Uh, but still, Tesla gives a lot of opportunities over here to trade intraday. Uh, we need just like to filter them out because we can have a lot of setups. And I'm looking for those uh, trading days and we're looking for those trending days <clears throat> so you just have multiple brokers and um, uh, trading different strategies from those multiple brokers exactly exactly because i don't want to trade on the same broker uh intraday or day trading and swing trading or investing because then it would change really my stats. So I try to divide them. I try to divide them. Do you ever, oh. I'm just kind of curious, like uh, if you're trading like day trading Tesla and you, you you think actually, you know what? I want to turn that into a swing trade. Do you transfer stock over to that other no. account? No, okay. No, Bruce, no, I cannot do something like that. That would simply go crazy. <laughs> uh, no, 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 absolutely. I try to keep it very simple. Okay. Uh, look over here. Uh, this Bruce was uh, before we had uh, a fake breakdown. Remember, we were talking about this. Yeah. And then over here, we had uh, a first big soak on this one. And they tried over here to push it, but then seller came in. And look, this over here. I believe that over here, we trade around 1 million or something. Let's see. Now, 600, around 630. Oh, you see that fake breakdown again? So they went to break the 490, right away reclaimed it. Over here, 230, then okay, if we put the zoom out, we trade around, yeah, five, 600. So nice bounce over here. And what I said before, 
If we stay above the VWAP, I will trail a ladder one third. So I'm looking how it reacts this 510. We can hold the 510, or if we will unwind below the 510. Salary 515. Over here we have uh, 22,000, 515, even a 513, we have a 26. <clears throat> the main resistance though is 530. So don't think we are in a backside traders. Technically, we are, yes, reversed because you can see that we have over here a pink and then yellow and then blue, right? And you can see that we are holding that, uh, I would say, pattern until up here, until 550. But over here, you can see that everything is for the backside. So we change the color of the bars from green to red. And also we have the blue over here, the aqua below the yellow, below the pink. Very simple, very straightforward uh, moving average uh, uh, trading uh, uh, strategy. Exactly. It's just combining over here the, the Zayline traders, knowing the price section, order flow, and chart pattern. That's it. It has to be very simple. Okay. Like you take long all of this. And then you start shorting as we did over here. If it works, good. If it doesn't work, trailing now in the money, and that's it. So for now, it's holding this 510, which is basically my level over here of a VWAP that we were talking about, and also the this uh, yellow line, which is a three minutes J line. Okay. So I need to respect my rules over here and trail a little bit more. So I'm getting out 513 a little bit more. So another one third out. Okay, fill now 513 right now, and then probably I, I fill the top. Let's see. <laughs> it's about uh, 1045, and we have traded. We have traded on this stock already 68 million volume. Remember yesterday around 207, 280. Well, that's unbelievable. Do you find yourself actually getting finding it hard to even find shares for entry long? Uh, what do you mean, buddy? Well, I, I mean, I, you know, you can look right at the order book there. Um, but uh, if if this is being traded, the the float is being traded several times over. Uh, can you get the size on you're looking for? Oh, yes, absolutely. Okay. You can take uh, even 100,000 shares uh, with no problem. Oh, okay. Uh, just looking over here at uh, BBIG so I, I can show you the, the whole picture. So until trader doesn't go right now above 525, I'm not really looking to stop. Also, I have over here the first resistance that tells me, okay, I'm in the safe mode because I'm only in the money. Right, so I'm not sweating. I'm not like uh, nervous. I'm just holding my my setup, uh, sticking to my setup and holding my trade. So BBIG, uh, even the comments that I gave these days on socials, I never said to short this until today. Every single day I said stay with the long, don't short, don't short for my strategy, which is paying. Last year I paid 79% win rate. And over here, this is the these are the stats that we have on. Uh, um, uh, extra trade okay with uh, for bbig this is a 688 million market cap 123 million float we have a low institutional ownership so get uh scared when this is above 40 percent if you want to trade long in today uh, and financials so financial you see they have 49 cash okay now think that that 49 cash is like uh if you ask your wife, let's go for dinner, she imagines such a great dinner, and that's money enough to buy two burgers. Okay, so for a company like this, uh, having 49 million cash with a 4 million per month of burn, basically it's low cash, okay? So don't think, oh, 10 months of cash, 12 months of cash, whatever, it's high cash or big cash for the company. It's actually not. You should have at least three or four years of cash for these small cap companies to consider them a little 
a little bit safe. Also, if you look over here, the net income is definitely disgusting. Okay, they have net income of minus 542 million. So they're bleeding. Okay, they're bleeding. And you will say, Jay, how is the net working uh, uh, capital? Total current assets divided total current liabilities. Net working capital over here is negative. Okay, over here we have the total assets should be for others total current assets. Okay, but 336 divided 508 is negative ratio. So they have a net negative net working capital. That's the point of the company. So basically, it tells you if the company is healthy or not. Okay, it's just to know if the company is healthy or not. And you can see, I mean, over here, their company is not healthy. This is the daily. If a health company would be uh, BBIG, then will be this kind of trend. But when we have a company like a, a negative net uh, uh, working capital or a negative net income, this is what you expect. And it's already a lot that are $2 they find buyers. Okay. Uh, so this is the vision over here uh, on uh, BBIG. These are the all previous day movers. And these are the gap stats. So uh, if I want to look what happened, I'm looking over here for uh, days where gap was above 20%. Three days failed, okay? And it failed before 11 o'clock. Now, you know that this is a former runner, so this is a different day. The last part of the equation is looking if they have dilution. There is a slower version and a, a faster version. Slower version if you do it yourself on shelf sec or on uh, uh, sec uh, gov. So you go to see the findings of the sec and you start looking at everything. You can do a little bit uh, faster over here, uh, even on edge trade. And you start looking over here, sec filings, and they look all this form over here. Otherwise, when I have no time, I just simply look over here, BBIG. And over here, they give you a little bit of. Uh, uh, background of the company you can see the company they state that has it has 101 for uh, months of cash while for example as you trade over here they give us like what 12 months of cash right so different uh, different scenario what we see is that they have a uh, warrants over here not registered okay but they have warrants over here at 3.30, they have registered warrants at 9. So these are all warrants that will be exercised in order for the company to raise capital, okay? So basically, when they have warrants, you have to wait for those to be exercised. Uh, how you know that is a shell company? So a shell company is basically a company that lives through dilution. So in order for them to survive, in order to bring that minus over here, minus 542 million of net income for a company trader that has basically 680 million market cap okay so they have some accumulation deficit over here to front they're saying that in the last three times over here they have convertible nose private placement and convertible again so it means this stock lives through dilution uh mclovin that was the networking capital so it's total current assets divided total current liabilities Hope if you have questions on this stuff, is basically the basic of uh, filings. I'm not the best around. I'm very humble to say it. I'm not the best around to uh, talk about filings. I know how they work. Uh, one of the best guys that I know is Ricky Analog, a friend of mine. So he's one of the best, right? So this is being honest, being serious. <clears throat> now, if I'm looking over here, the price section at BBIG. It's still lateral, so I don't have any kind of plays right now to look at. My monitor is up here, and I'm looking at all of these and more and more and more. Uh, so I'm looking at Tesla, but we still need a general rejection. We have Facebook, we have Nvidia, we have Apple, Python, Baba, uh, BBIGs, Bev, and over here again we have Nuro, which was a day two gap down play. In the meantime, I'm looking at Bitcoin and other altcoins that I'm still in, and I'm waiting for those. Uh, curling, small on BBIG. So you can see the price section over here is trying to curl. This curl over here formation. The main resistance is 530, 525. 
we are in three minutes airlines vwap at 514 so bruce uh question from you i know that you don't trade small cap but that's the the nice part of this uh, webinar uh think that you are short right now okay and you are short at the high level here and you are out over here because you took some profit one-third of your position one-third of trailing so you have left one-third right how would you manage your trailing right now so where would you get out you would get out break even would you get out on a let's say a book map clear out uh, would you instead hold with a stop loss how would you uh, i would say interpret this knowing so i have to give you the parameters knowing that you're gonna look for day trading so not for a swing trade yeah i mean uh so the um kind of uh, beige or mustard color moving average you have there um okay, yes does it does it accept above that uh you know does i would stay i would stay exactly with this level of here trailing because we have over here a few things uh five actually no sorry i would stay above this over here 520 because i would protect at least with some partial over here of book map which is 520 decent 518 and 515 and also because this is my main guide for what concerns they two place but you uh, the the point for me was when you are in the money uh and you know you're not in the money like 15 r 20 r you're in the money over here uh, for now, about at this point, you're about uh, four R, okay, between three and four R. With the last one third, you would look for a break even, you would look for a stop loss to give a little bit more wiggle room, or you would just simply trail even faster to lock in profits. What's your style generally when you look at to trade? It, it depends. I mean, like, uh, I mean, you know, what I look at. Um, is if if this is a really good setup and uh you know i believe in the if there's kind of a alignment with higher time frame uh as well as like maybe fundamentals like you're looking at uh, then this is something that you, you you've already taken some profit with then you can put your stop loss at overall break even um uh and that would be you know back up above there um if not um then uh yeah a, tighten that stop up if it breaks those uh trend lines uh or those moving averages there uh then uh, uh exit um okay 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 got it so in this case if you look over here if i zoom out from my book map i can see that it's pretty lateral because basically from 9 30 we didn't really move much we have this support at 485 and this max resistance at 531. What I like, you know, that I still think, okay, I can still have that unwind is I'm looking for over here a wedge. And you know that wedge, they offer generally a very solid uh, breakout or breakdown. We have these two main areas. So I need to see the breakout of this to get out or a breakdown of this. And I'm looking at also this wall of sellers over here because between 530 and 520 you will confirm over here we have decent amount of sellers you know uh versus over here for example so for the fact that i have this resistance over here i'm still more inclined you know to hold my position for the short side and yes having this risk over here 522 so in the money or as you said over here you know putting the stop break even for this reason over here that we have more heat map plays on our side our side uh what do you think about the support that we have over here i mean technically i'm looking at the bigger picture over here let's put a five minute chart actually i should put this back up uh, let me see over here bbig okay we have the main support at that 470 480 which is this over here and exactly is where the book map is and then below 470 so look below this support over here 470 we have a straight i would say possible line to 450 which is this level over here so these levels that i put over here traders is not an indicator okay 
these are only by visual okay what i've been seeing these days on bookmap that's the point so some tutor asked me what are these zones over here is like you know a volume profile no absolutely is each day i observed over here the heat maps like today i saw this at 5 30 okay so today i will move this a little bit more down between 5 40 and 5 30 this area over here and over here we said that we have 470 the support over here we have 470 480 the support so i'm gonna keep this over here and also you can see during the days how these levels react so for me it's really a a, a union between technicals and also order flow okay makes sense and like this you have to analyze your chart because like this you really understand and then it's only about looking at the past what happened in order to give you help to determine what's going to happen probably in the future okay so they always say the history what happened past is not a prediction of the future or whatever but it still helps you because if you see the same setup on 15 times and 14 times or 10 times work in a certain way you have edge uh stats that confirm this hypothesis okay what do you think Bruce? well well said i mean that's exactly it uh you know uh it's you've got an edge when you've worked out the uh and looked at this and studied it enough times that you know you have an edge a quantifiable edge exactly and today traders if you look at just this chart over here okay uh let you know uh put the dots all together over here we have this level of resistance uh, which is 530 between 540 and why i trace this this morning this i even posted on on some social because this is a previous high this is a previous high and this was a previous high this was the low over here and this morning you know we had the confirmation this was a previous high but again i could see from yesterday that on book map this was my level over here of main resistance and look where it came it came exactly to that level of resistance over here so i put this together with this and i look for that level and that level i press my short so i was looking to risk that 540 having a 533 and 50 average i mean it's still working good okay i was risking like 6.5 cents now we are about uh 20 cents in the, in the money or so almost 30 cents in the money so you have a very good uh, uh i would say our return then sure you have like to divide for the uh amount of trailing you already took but if we break now this uh, uh support 470 i expect this to go to this level 450 and at 450 you can clearly see two main things over here first we have the previous support we have also over here the 200 exponential moving average which is my second z lines and we see over here that book map the levels over here they're not at 440 they're not at 460 they are 450. so level over here it's so important because it reflects what book map confirms you well said This is where the trader's patience uh, and following the, the plan and, and discipline all come into uh, uh, come into effect. Exactly, 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 buddy. Yeah, I love I love the way you you kind of uh, divide up the chart like that and and looking at these these areas. It's exactly I mean those areas of high liquidity. That's it. That's where the buyers are. They're down there exactly so we can do like this we'll put this in uh, in the book map room uh we can put this over here so level of supply and uh, book map so order flow confirmation and so we have the 330 340 area too short so that is and uh we can make also over here this because i think it's important to keep these uh these examples for the traders over here we can put maybe it's better right after with the white uh we can put over here level of supply uh 530 not uh, 330 I, I wrote that over here 530 
540 over here over here let me fix this so the next time traders you will really connect the dots okay so this zone over here with this over here okay so let's make a screenshot that we'll post over here in the room Now, I don't get scared because I don't see a big amount of uh, uh, buyers over here. I'm looking ideally to see lower highs, lower lows confirmed. It's getting very tight, getting very, very tight over here. Tight means range, okay? Chop. Okay, let's check one second tesla all right so tesla it basically bounced near that 1000 support seems like a v pattern if i look over here on uh, book map oh so why we have traders that dip so again, you can see this. We can see this, right? We can actually see this big support over here, which is this gray. If I do this gray, I mean, I can see this even better. There we are big support over here which is the big support over here and then bounce this means i'm looking for a dip buy to trade long well in order for me to buy long i have a certain strategy i'm not looking to buy this okay i'm waiting for uh, a daily chart to confirm for now the daily chart is not confirming yet so let's look at the price section over here I'm back on a one minute chart so this morning we had a fail over here, almost to the J lines, almost to the J lines, no trade yet. So need to wait over here, need to wait. Um, close over here. So you can see what I use, a 72.89 at 180.210. Uh, exponential 9 and 20 that are used over here only in the hourly so not on the um, on the one minute chart so uh, Joseph, just a, a reminder to everybody like uh, in here um, in the way that Joseph is trading um, from a top-down approach. So as you can see, he's filtering for stocks that are moving. He's looking for them to be trending hard. Uh, and then he's looking at uh, technical areas for getting involved. Uh, he's looking for pullbacks. In this case, he's been he has, he has many strategies, but like one of the big ones here is a pullback to a moving average or his J lines. Uh, and then he's looking at the order flow around those areas to optimize uh, his entry. Uh, and he's he's watching and waiting. Uh, when the order flow starts to align, uh, then he's getting involved. It's like uh, he doesn't quite know if it's going to hold that moving average or not. But he's already done his homework with the, um, you know, he, he, he's already filtered his stocks. He knows that these stocks are moving. And he's also looking at them fundamentally. Are they like, you know, stocks that are worthy of that move or not? 
um, and then that starts to set up his bigger picture strategy uh, for his pullbacks to moving averages here. Thank you, Bruce, for the just a, a recap because <laughs> uh, uh, jumping in here, like we're all accustomed to like what you do, um, but there might be newer traders in here. Uh, and uh, just a, a recap here. So it's very different. Like uh, if you're if you're trading uh, large caps and like you're looking at sideways consolidation, maybe you're fading outside of the range and then back into the range. That is not what J Trader is doing. Uh, you know, he's looking for uh, these these stocks that are already moving. Uh, and then he's looking for big moves. Exactly. So as Bev, as Bev, as we said, it as an SSR. So SSR has the possibility of squeezing very fast. It's not a day one because this is a day three. Actually, we could even say day four, but day three over here, considering this is the first main day. Uh, this morning, we are bouncing on this main support, right? Which is this uh, always this purple remember that we saw that purple over here being the level on bbig the same thing over here so this main support is also what was the resistance uh two days ago so now we're bouncing over here am i looking uh, too long yet not yet what i would need to see i would need to see the price closing above this line and then curling over here and then i'm looking for a juicy long okay uh I can follow this better on a one minute chart. I just uh, have to, I would say, uh, uh, explain over here. The best long that you can find in the market are when the price is above the VWAP and then we can squeeze because if we will long over here, you know that the VWAP we can stuff and then simply unwind over here. Okay, so careful always long and below the VWAP or before the break of the VWAP. Do, do you ever um, trade it up to the VWAP and take some profit off? Yes, but in the past, I learned to wait for the VWAP breakout, consolidation above, and then taking the long. Okay. Only because uh, some of those times I got, uh, you know, like rejected. So I couldn't get out with a profit. Then I took maybe a loss because it was a fast stuff on that VWAP. And mm. in this case today, 447, 450. Mm, I see. Yeah, so, so the very, I mean, uh, again, like, and I, I, I'm taking kind of a bigger picture approach today, uh, Joseph, uh, and kind of uh, uh, stepping back uh, and um, outlining uh, your, your trading plan here. That's, that's a conservative approach, but it is higher probability uh, yeah. that you're looking for you don't want it you know that you can make money like trading it up to vwap and taking some off and then looking for it and blah 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 nope instead trade above vwap pull back to vwap looking for the long um, and uh, uh, just seems to work better for you and that is your trading style thank you buddy it's working it's working good uh, so let's go back on bbig Oh, oh, and just just one more comment on that. Like, you're adding risk by being more conservative there. Um, you mean on Nasdaq? Uh, yeah, I mean like uh, the VWAP trade. Um, you know, because you're getting in at a higher area. Yes, exactly, exactly. But that that this is the trade-off that you know the traders have to have to make, and and Joseph uh, very uh, uh, cleanly and clearly made that decision. He's like, I don't want to play around with it up to VWAP. Uh, it's just um, I'm looking for that 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 confirmed trade and then take it. Exactly, and still we have a very low volume. We would need to see traders over here volume above six seven hundred k per minute, based on stats for a four or five dollars, uh, or even six dollar stock, uh, in order for me to take a long. Unfortunately, when you trade small caps traders, uh, the same I do. I feel also for the big caps. Okay, but when you trade a four dollar stocks on small caps. 100k or 200k or 300k is generally a, a fading ball where the fact this being on red means that we have over here no power to go for the upside at least for now uh if you want to see instead high volume welcome to bbig <laughs> so big wash over here so bbig finally paying off that's a very good news so well done traders well done over here
look what a juicy amount of sellers over here. That's a juicy amount of sellers. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Yep, still going. Looks looking for that. Uh, there's a little liquidity before that 450, um, and then uh, what is that uh, 471 or something like that? 470. Yes, we are looking for that 70, Bruce. And if we break that 470, bye bye. We're gonna have over here uh, 450. So still holding over here from the first top. 5.33.5350 average. So now what I'm looking at is 450 and 470 level. So on BBRG, because those are the main heat map uh, support levels, okay? So be conservative. Uh, now the trade has worked. We broke this wedge. Now we're going to put our trailing maximum over here at 5. 505, five, okay? So that level over there. Great stuff, Joseph. But I like to see those sellers over here. Look over here, Bruce. These are nice sellers. Yeah, that's that's beautiful. They're moving it. Decent amount of uh, of orders over here. 182, 97, 20, 74, 240. Wow. Uh, let's look to filter this even more for today. Maybe let's put 1999. Okay, so these are all the big orders over here. And you could see traders. So start looking at this. These are the main levels for 90, for 80. And what you can see over here, is it more green or red? definitely red exactly so that selling pressure tells me a hey, stay in with the trade don't get scared uh, let it work though I mean uh, it, I'm just kind of curious I look at your um, profile on this one Joseph because uh, I, I imagine there'll be some profit taking here at 470 I know you're right and I have that support, Bruce, but I already took two times one third. So I'm looking really to hold this uh, for the whole day. Okay. Uh, and then maybe tomorrow to add or maybe today to add to this position if it's going to work. Mm -hmm. So if I'm going to trail a little bit more by the time this eventually will fail, I have nothing left. And then for me, you know, like cutting, if I would do only day trade on this, so... Uh, starting the trade today and holding it like you know before the end of the day until the end of the day then i really would follow uh, your suggestion over here because by rules over here this is a very good support level uh that 470 over here is uh is a place where i would expect some bounce if not which i would prefer <laughs> we're gonna have 450 yeah i mean that's a lot of selling um it's gonna be hard to kind of slow that that train uh down yeah this is the main support over here main support this area so 470 they're trying to bounce. They're so good. They're so good, Bruce. Look that. Look that dip. You see it, buddy? Yeah. Look that dip. This is printing really money right now.
Yeah, see the the bid starting to kind of show some some interest now. Yep. It was really a fight over here bef between this 475 and this 470. There is really a big fight. 475 resistance, 470 support. Wow. waiting here okay 468 breakdown seems a bear flag over here Four sixty six more selling at four fifty. Definitely, I'm gonna take half of what I have left because that's really a good first target. And we have also traders that two hundred on the fifty minutes. Wow. What a big sell off over here from that 470. See, traders, big sell off over here. These are sellers, okay? Four fifty eight. They removed over here the support at four fifty four. Look that liquidity, Bruce. That they cast. Oh, big seller at four fifty eight. Four fifty eight seller. Beautiful. Yeah, that that should help push it. There we are. There we are. There we are. Filled at four fifty six. That was likely a real real time, you know, ice iceberg. I mean, we know it's high liquidity in there, um, uh, and total total absorption. Uh, maybe maybe an iceberg in there as well, but uh, uh, they just didn't get through that at all. Uh, someone's selling there, and they they just continued to sell on on the offer. Exactly. I mean, you can exactly. see it adding adding more in, adding more. It kind of was flashing there. They were adding more in and adding more in. No, they're not going to, buyers aren't going to be able to get through that. And there's your Look move. At below 450, wow. What a big dump over here. So finally we got that. Now I would, now I would really expect some bounce. Now I would really expect some bounce. That's the main level of support, 444. Sorry, uh, 450 we said before. Now I don't see support until Bruce, if we break this, I don't see support until 4. It's melting down, it's melting down over here. Yeah, that, that was great. Um, 
uh, to see that that really high supply in that seller on the offer there. Um, th they were just not going to let buyers trade through that. They were going to try to get full full position on, and they're still doing it. They're well, at least they're on the offer again, pushing. Yeah, they're still pushing down. Look, this is really meltdown over here. Wow. Nice to see this when you are, you know, on the <laughs> correct side. <laughs> yeah. Over here, if you're trying to buy dips, my friend, you're you're really like toast. Is that just out of curiosity? Is that probably one of the biggest um, uh, problems that during your mentoring you, you find traders make that error as they continue to buy the dips? Mm, no, generally I see in small caps uh, traders doing the opposite, maybe trying to short something that goes up, not really buying the dips. Uh, on big caps, no, not not necessarily. For me, the main errors that I find in traders today is about uh, mental discipline, so not respecting the stop loss, oversizing, being greedy, uh, maybe stopping too early, and sorry, maybe stopping too late and cutting wins too early, mm -hmm. so not giving you know, enough time to have a correct risk reward, at least one or two, three, one to four, when you have some good, very good day trades. Those are the three or four main errors that uh, by by stats I see in traders so it's not only about uh, teaching a precise trading strategy or a correct way to to read the order flow but it's also to putting more things together like mental discipline risk management because you know you can be the best trader in the world like you know having 99% win rate uh, knowing your book map perfectly taking every single trade good but then if you don't have like mental discipline you know you need one bad trade to really uh, or say erase all your efforts that you did like for three or four months maybe or more okay Trader. so we are already around 11 30. uh any question i would like to really hear what you think about the, the you know the what we had today uh, if you have any comment or questions uh don't be over here like shy you know I already have my wife being like that. Don't be shy. Yeah, it's weird. Uh, you know, a very strange phenomena. Like uh, we we jump into Discord uh, and open up the chat room so people can kind of uh, chat between each other and ask questions. But and we're getting m much less questions than ever before. Much less. I, I don't okay, maybe because they improved. And Tremendously, yeah. I mean, th these webinars are, are are for you guys. I mean, so you know, ask questions in here. Uh, I, I I I've emailed many uh, uh, many of you in recently or in the past as well, as saying like, look, you know, uh, to go to the educational course, watch the educational course, come to these webinars, uh, and ask questions. Uh, it's going to be forward looking. And, and live trading here with Joseph uh, and uh, uh, you know a ask questions about it to put these pieces together uh, for your own trading uh, plan uh, and um, uh, you know it should should be a pretty pretty nice uh, education for you guys exactly exactly uh, so at this point traders I'm not covering until as I said no actually I didn't said uh, I'm not covering really. I'm waiting for this to melt down. Uh, I'm gonna hold my, what I have. When I see a daily at two two fifty, uh, so if this will confirm tomorrow to be this heavy, I'm gonna short more pops and looking to recycle a little bit. So, uh, Bruce, can we wrap it up over here, buddy? Absolutely. Uh, thank you so much, Joseph. Uh, great webinar and uh, yeah, great trading. Uh, and we'll we'll do it again uh, next Wednesday. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for being over here. Um, thank you, David. Thank you, Megzilla. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Bruce, again. Thank you, Bookmap. Have a good day. Stay safe. Use your stop loss always, okay? Remember, 
I took many, many losses in the past uh, for not being disciplined. So be really disciplined, okay? Accept to be wrong, accept being uh, wrong and take losses. Thank you very much, traders. See you next time.